Hey guys, it's BNC, and today I'm bringing you a GIMP tutorial. Um, GIMP stands for uh, GNU Image Manipulation Program, and uh, yeah, I got version 2.6. So if you don't have this and you want to be able to do this, uh, check out the description. I'll have the link in the description. All right, so it's like 3:14. No, it's not. It's like 3:20 in the morning right now. Um, and yeah, I don't know why I'm awake. So don't ask. <laughs> Alright, so uh, today, as you can see, here's a smooth, like, non pixely looking image, right? Yeah, you agree? Okay. Now, I'll show you the original image size. Here it is, bubble.png. Alright, here it is. Here's the original image size, and as you can see, the quality hasn't really changed at all. Um, now, if you want to know how to do this, um, I'm going to show you. So this really only kind of works with the with the solid colored images um, because the metal will still be pixely. But I'm just showing you how to clean up these edges um, so then your image is not all pixely at the edge. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. I'm even gonna make this one bigger than the last one. Um, so yeah, here it is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go image scale image, and we're gonna scale it up. And if this thing's unlocked, you can just click OK because it will do both. And as you can see, it is very blurry and uh, and pixelated. So we're gonna go ahead and go. Um, actually, I want to add a drop shadow to this one. So we're gonna go ahead and go colors, um, colorize, and then take your lightness all the way up. And as you can see there, now you can see it starts to get blurry. So we're going to click OK, and uh, there you go. That just enhances it. Um, all right, so now we're going to go ahead and right-click, Alpha 2 Selection, click Select, Shrink, and we're going to shrink the selection by 3 pixels. Now we're going to go to Select, Invert. So now we're selecting the entire outside of the image and not the entire inside of the image. Um, go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, I believe that's how you say it, I don't know. Um, and you're going to uh, do it by 7. And again, if you just type it in and the link's not broken, then it will do the bottom one and you can just click OK. Um, now we're going to do colors, curves, make, uh, set the channel on alpha, and take this dot, this top right dot here, and move it three boxes to the left. And do the same three boxes to the right on the bottom. Right and uh, click OK, and now you're you're done. So uh, go ahead and select none, and as you can see, no blur, no pixelation, just really smooth image. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and now add a drop shadow, and to do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, crop the image, allow growing, so I can just get a little more space behind that, and. Um, and uh, now we're going to take the layer move tool. That's what I just do for default. And then we're going to go ahead just really quick and go image, no, layer, layer to image size. And then we're going to go filters, um, light and shadow, drop shadow. And how I like to do my drop shadow is I do 10, 10. 20, and then um, the opacity 75, and uh, don't allow resizing. Click OK. There you go. We got this drop shadow even, and uh, there you go. Now you got like a nice icon or like a speech bubble for a website if you want to put that on your website. Um, and yeah, now if you're not happy with the size, you can just crop it. Um, I'm gonna do this. Right, so there we go. It's cropped to uh, the perfect size now. All right, and then you can just merge this down and save it, and uh, you got a nice unpixelated larger image of of the uh, original image, which was very small. And as you can see, it's even larger than this one, and it's still unpixelated. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. This was a BNC tutorial, and. Uh,
you can help out my channel by subscribing and uh, staying updated with my videos. Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.